Hi everybody. I wanted to share today a um, um, a new strategy for email verification. If you're operating in a niche or market where email verification has been a problem, uh, and you want to use a way to verify the email directly within your decision tree, then um, oh, excuse the spelling here. Uh, verification. Uh, what you want to do is you, you will place that anywhere within your decision tree. So I haven't created an entire decision tree. Just want to share the strategy with you. You grab the email, you fire off the new email notification, which is going to be something like this. Uh, and you can it's basically put uh, email. And this will uh, send the email to um, to the lead, actually, from your one of your email addresses. Uh, obviously, you put in your own, own mail server. And uh, that will send through the email to the to the lead. Uh, and on this uh, node, you the email you send to them, or this one here, could be actually uh, be just a password. So here's your secret password, and just something simple, right? Now you could turn this into a random number generator, and we've got uh, just search our helper for random number generator. And that could be a randomly generated set of numbers, which you save in the custom field against this record, so which means everybody gets a, uh, a unique uh, password uh, if you wanted to do that. Uh, but it could be something simple as this, obviously, you know, some copy here. And that email is what's sent to uh, your lead, and they will enter that password uh, into this one here, uh, into this uh, text field node. If uh, the password is correct, that's a decision node. It's going to evaluate the password, and basically it's going to check to see if uh, if it fails or passes. If it uh, if it uh, fails, it'll it'll go back and ask them, "Would you like to try another email?" And then if they say yes, they can go back and uh, give you another email, send them the e uh, the notification, and then the process starts again. If they say no, you can redirect them to some other decision tree. In this case, I'm just indicating that you want to transfer them out somewhere. Uh, it could be within decision tree or another decision tree or some other page or to CPA offer or to whatever. And that's basically how that would happen. Uh, if they get it, uh, if they're not interested, give you another email. Uh, in which case, um, you know, save yourself of uh, having a database that's polluted with bad uh, email addresses. One well, going to open anyway. Uh, and then, uh, if they, obviously, if they get the password right, then you can proceed with the rest of the questions within the decision tree. Now you can put this in the beginning of the decision tree, in the middle, at the end, wherever you want. Essentially, if you're finding the lead quality is an issue, uh, a strategy you might, lead, might a strategy like this might help you to increase the quality of your leads. Right. Well, once again, all of this boils down to testing, uh, and as you all know, the secret to a good decision tree is the offer about what is the value that it's going to create, right? So it's not about the industry specifically, but the marketing understanding of your market. Right, with that, I hope you get to use this. And uh, if there's any questions, yeah, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you, and bye for now.